OK, so we're going to take a look at layers in photo and also talk a bit about what layers are conceptually. So layers basically form the composition of your document. And in photo, layers can be made up of rasterized bitmaps, for example, your images, tonal adjustments, convolution filters, and vector objects like shapes, curves, and text. So that's all very well, but why do we actually use these layers? Well, they aid a non-destructive workflow. So they're like the building blocks that when put together form your completed document, but you can disable, delete, and swap these building blocks around however you wish. For example, I have an adjustment layer at the top of the layer stack here, and I can simply uncheck it. I can do the same with this group of text here, if I uncheck it, you'll see the text disappear from the document down here. I also have a brightness and contrast adjustment layer, which I can uncheck. You'll see the difference there. And also a vignette filter, which once unchecked, brightens up the corners of the document. So I'll just go ahead and check all these layers to enable them once again. And we've got back to our finished document here. So then, we have these two main images here, and they are both represented in our layer stack here and here. Now we have these little arrows next to these layers. We can click them to expand this layer, and we will basically see these other layers nested inside this pixel layer. Now, these are referred to as child layers. And when a layer is a child layer, that means it will only affect the layer it's been nested into. So just to demonstrate this, I have a curves adjustment here. If I just uncheck it, we'll see the difference in this bottom image here. Now that's currently a child layer, so it's only affecting this pixel layer. But what I can do is click drag and bring it out on its own here. And if I then release the mouse button, you'll see this curves adjustment now affects both images. So this is an important concept to grasp. Basically, this layer structure is hierarchical. So now this curves adjustment is above both the pixel layers. It will affect them both. Sometimes we need to be acutely aware of how we're ordering our layers. So for example, my text group here, if I were to drag that underneath the two pixel layers, it would disappear, which is obviously not the result we want. So I can click drag that and reorder it where it's supposed to be. I'll then just put this curves adjustment back where it should be. So if I click drag and offer it to the background pixel layer, you'll notice a blue highlighted column. So we're offering to nest it into the background pixel layer. So I can release the mouse button and it once again becomes a child layer. Another important concept and quite a big pitfall to be aware of is that when you're using filters or any of the tools from the tools panel over here, they will only affect the layer you currently have selected. So for example, we may well have a scenario where we want to use the in painting brush tool to intelligently remove and replace an area of an image. Now you'll notice I have the curves adjustment layer selected here. If I then click drag over this area, nothing is happening. And if I release the mouse button, still nothing happens. In order for this tool to be effective, we have to select a pixel layer. So instead we'll select the background pixel layer here, and then we'll try. This time, we get a visible overlay, and if we release the mouse button, the in-painting brush does what it's supposed to do. So that is something you'll want to be conscious of. Many times, the answer to why a tool or filter is not working is simply because the wrong layer has been selected. OK, so finally, just to get back to the concept of a non-destructive workflow, which is one of the chief reasons for us using layers, I can go ahead and uncheck all of these layers and also uncheck the child layers for both. 
pixel layers, like so. So, as you can see, our document started off with these two images positioned, like so. We have then added a series of adjustments and filters to both of these images to improve them visually. On top of that, we've then added some text as branding for our document. And then just to finish it off, we've added a couple of filters and adjustments. And then finally, because we're taking this to print, we're using what's known as a soft proof adjustment, just to preview how our document will look when printed with a specific color profile. And at any point in our workflow, we can double click any of these filters or adjustment layers and then freely adjust them. non-destructively. So, just to round it up, layers are a powerful concept for editing your work, as they allow a non-destructive workflow, which means any of your decisions are reversible or modifiable. They're a key component of advanced image editing, and you can find out more about them through the other video tutorials or via the in-app help accessible here. Thank you for watching.